What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether Aaron Rodgers will retire after the 2021 NFL season. All that and much more coming your way right now. Hey Trash Talkers, over 85% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications as it will help us create more daily content for you. Thank you and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, news came out earlier on Wednesday that Aaron Rodgers is kind of thinking about retirement and he didn't really just allude to the fact it was asked to him by the media and they asked him you know what he's decided after 2021 is this his final season does he expect to come back and play for the green bay packers what kind of what his thought process is and i think a lot of people want to know especially as this season winds down yes obviously the packers are going to the playoffs they've already secured their division look like they will be the one seed in the nfc but I mean, Aaron Rodgers' future is the biggest question mark going into this offseason, just as it was last offseason. So I, I think that we have to take a look at what Aaron Rodgers said in response to the media asking him. He said, quote, I wouldn't rule that out. I think that I'm just enjoying the season for this season. I think that playing next year will definitely be in the thought process. One of many things, wanting to not be a bum on the way out and still be able to play, I think is important to me. Now, I, I think that this is very relevant and i'll toss it over to you in a sec nick but when you take a look at eli manning or ben roethlisberger or philip rivers or some of these guys that have really come out and not performed toward the back end of their career i think that sits in the minds of some of these quarterbacks like I don't want to go out being thought of as this guy who couldn't get the job done. Aaron Rodgers is in an MVP role yet again for a second straight season, and that might be just the finishing touch he needs to go out on top, especially if the Packers win the Super Bowl. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, he's accomplished a lot over the last couple of years, and you said, you know, he, he doesn't want to be like Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers, those guys who faded off. He's going to look at Peyton Manning and look at where Tom Brady is and be like, I want to be at that point in my career where I'm at the top, I'm at my very best, and then I can ride out into the sunset. And he really wants to follow exactly what Peyton Manning did right out on top. And he knows where the Green Bay Packers stand right now. He knows that this team has what it takes to go all the way and be world champions. And he thinks that, hey, if I can get there, if I can finally do it this year and possibly be a back-to-back -back MVP, then why not go out on top? Why not be that guy? Because Aaron Rodgers wants to be the best. He wants everybody to think he's the best. And the way you do that is by being a back-to-back -back MVP, winning the Super Bowl and riding off into the sunset. That way, there's not a bad thing anybody has to say against you. And Aaron Rodgers is right at the forefront of that conversation as greatest of all time. He knows what he's doing. He wants everybody to think he's the best. And I think that the best road for him to do so is for him to go out, win this thing, and then retire. Well, let's get one thing straight. Aaron Rodgers will never be regarded as the greatest of all time. I mean, there, there's, no, there's not even an argument to be made. So anybody who thinks that clearly just doesn't know the sport of football. Uh, but regardless, I, I think he retires no matter what. I mean, when you take a look at everything that happened over the course of not just this offseason but the previous offseason where Jordan Love gets drafted and they don't get more weapons for the offensive side of the football and they're continuing to build up on the defensive side and plan for the future and they get a coach that he necessarily wasn't on board with and then they get you know all these different players that he didn't really want and the only thing that he's gotten that he wanted was Randall Cobb in a trade with the Houston Texans it, it you know it really didn't cost them all that much and he finally got something from management but the one thing he did get also was his ability to kind of write his own path he has a player option to decide his future going forward 
after this season. And I think that is one of the best things that any player has ever had, especially in the NFL, control over their own destiny. You don't see that very often in the NFL. And when you do, it's usually in the form of a no trade clause. Aaron Rodgers actually has the complete control over what he does moving forward. I think that has to be regarded. And I, I honestly believe no matter what happens with the Green Bay Packers this season, Aaron Rodgers will retire after the 2021 NFL season. Yeah, I think we're, we're both on the same page here. We don't see Aaron Rodgers in the 2022 season. It's going to be the Jordan Love era. And as we saw from that Kansas City game, the Green Bay Packers are in for a rough road for the next few years or so. We know they're going to have to redraft to try to find the next franchise, the next Favre Rodgers. But they're going to definitely go through their rough ride. I mean, going from 30 years of Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers to Jordan Love, Packers fans are not going to be happy. And I can tell you from experience, going from 20 years of Tom Brady to a year of Cam Newton, you're in for it. I, I can almost promise you that. But I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of Aaron Rodgers and his comments on retirement. Let us know if you believe he will retire at the end of the season or if he's not going to retire where he might end up. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.